the Duke Blue Devils. The Dukies? Is that what they call them? Is that, I, I guess that's more of a basketball thing, right? I guess. I mean, this, I'm this, sure you can call them that in both sports. I guess so. Eight and five last year, three and five in conference. They returned five starters on offense, nine on defense. Experience returning, they got uh, it's number 63 in the country, number eight in the conference. They're over under. It's five and a half. The over, the juice on it, minus 150. The under, plus 130. So Vegas thinks they're more likely to hit six wins than five. David Cutcliffe. We love David Cutcliffe. We do like David Cutcliffe. 67 and 72 in 11 years, which is it's crazy to think that he's been there for that long. Correct. Um, he always finds a way to coach up teams that don't look that good on paper. And this one definitely does not look that good on paper. Quarterback Quentin Harris, fifth-year senior. He replaces Daniel Jones. He was 2-0 and as a starter in relief duty. Uh, but no proven wideouts. They're going to lean more on the run than usual. Four out of five offensive linemen are back. They got two junior running backs. Uh, that's They're going to lean on the run a lot. Right. Uh, at least the quarterback has some experience. But they went from number 21 total defense in, number, uh, in 2017 to number 77 in 2018. That was after losing Jim Knowles to Oklahoma State. Now they lose three out of their four leading tacklers. Uh, defensive end Chris Rumpf was a freshman All-American last year. They're going to lean heavily on him. Uh, the schedule is not kind whatsoever. And I, I always hate to pick this team to not make a bowl game, but I have them 5-7. and seven. So I've got them losing to Alabama in the, the opening week in Atlanta. Then two straight wins over North Carolina A&T and at Middle Tennessee State. A loss at Virginia Tech, a win over Pitt, a win over Georgia Tech at home, a loss at Virginia, a win at North Carolina, and then I've got them losing the last four games. Notre Dame, Syracuse, at Wake Forest, and Miami. We have the exact same game, the exact same record, five and seven. And Would it surprise me if they found a way to win at home against Syracuse or Miami or win at Wake Forest? No, it would not surprise me. I, this David Cook always finds a way to make a bowl game. But, That's right. But he but also, it also wouldn't surprise me if they lost that North Carolina game. Right. Or if they lost the game at, you know, home to Pitt. Yeah. I mean, it's... Like, I mean, it... There's... there's Or even at Middle Tennessee State. Like, I know Middle Tennessee State, like, they don't return hardly anything, but, like... That would that's a road game. Uh, yeah, but that would surprise me. Uh, you know, all I'm saying... David yeah, Cuckoo no is... He's 67 and 72, yeah. right? Like, that is an overall losing record. But what he has done here has been almost miraculous. He has made this team a very competitive team in this league. Uh, and the ACC was not always as weak as it appears, you know, this year or in the past couple of years. Um, but, man, I just I don't see how this team this season can get to a bowl game. Yeah, Daniel Jones did go number six overall. Six overall. We don't, we don't think like, he's supposed to. But, but. but, like, he was still projected to be a first-round quarterback, even if it wasn't that early. Like, everyone thought he belongs in the NFL, right? Yeah. You just don't lose that and move on, I don't think. Maybe. God, I mean, it's he's become such a punchline. It's hard to say that and think, well, yeah, but not like he was great. He was pretty he, good. He was good. And and don't, I mean, look, I, you can't underestimate Quentin Harris too much. 2-0 and as a starter in relief duty, and he's beaten some pretty good teams. So... I mean, yes, I could see them going 6-6 six and six and making a bowl game, but I, I don't see them being really any better than that. Like, do you agree? Yeah, oh, their ceiling would be 6-6. Six and six. Yeah. Like that, it would shock me if they went 6-7-5. and 7-5, seven seven and and five. Five. Yeah. Five, I, I think, is, is strong, strong. Uh, yes, that would be completely proving everybody wrong. That's um, right. And... Don't underestimate David Cutcliffe, right? Correct. Like he, he now, if anybody that. could take a new quarterback and coach him up, I mean, well, this especially guy knows, a senior quarterback. Yeah, this guy knows quarterbacks. So yeah. yeah, I mean, so it wouldn't. I, I don't know. It, I got it a seven, a five, and seven, and and I, I, like I said, if they finish six and six, it wouldn't shock me. Finish four and eight, it wouldn't shock me. No, I I agree. I agree. 